Today we're on the south end of the farm. We're gonna be taking a look at this barbed wire fence right here behind me. Um, it's only a three strand and like all the others, it, this is how I found it when I bought the place. Um, over the last few months though, the bottom two of these three strands have basically become non-existent. You can see the cattle spend a ton of time in here. Look at all the droppings, but they've just beat out all this into dirt all through there. Had some grass, even though it was under the trees, but this is one of the spots that stays the shadiest throughout the entire day. So they spend a lot of time here, especially when it's real hot. You can kind of see how there's several jumbled up. I know it's hard, I'm sorry, but I'm doing the best I can. They're just jumbled up. This one's up, but you know, you can tell it's not very good. And that bottom one's just laying on the ground. Yeah, let's get this knocked out. When I do fence work, I always keep two kinds of pliers. I keep, well, oh, pliers. I have these little nippers. This cuts the thinner wire really well. Um, and then I keep needle nose pliers to snip the actual barbed wire it's a much heavier duty wire so um i know there's other ones that are designed for that but all i have is needle nose and they work fairly well so that's what i do and i always keep them in my truck because with a farm you honestly just never know plans change all the time animals are unpredictable weather um, there's just so many things that can affect fencing, so I'd like to keep a few of the basics in the truck. We got all the wire clips cut off from the areas where it was still connected barbed wire is something nasty to deal with um i think most would agree that if it's ever possible to avoid using it um i know animals are stubborn and so forth and you know you gotta do something that's gonna stand and make a point obviously but so I think it has its place, but I think if at all feasible, um, using a, a mesh wire uh, with a hot wire on top or pipe fence, something like that is always a better go-to. I understand it's much, much more expensive, but safer for you, safer for the animal. Just my two cents worth. I just wrapped it twice. I went over and under and just wrapped all the slack down. Okay, so if you don't know how one of these works, these have this clamp. You put your barbed wire in it, like that. It has one on this end, but you leave that open because you're gonna hook this onto the wood and that's what's gonna pull it this way. After that, you just crank that handle and it ratchets it that up. Okay, now next, what we'll do, we got it tight. I got my slack wrapped around the post. I'm gonna put sometimes three, at least three, sometimes four of these staples in. Then when we will take this off, we'll release the tension and take it off. We'll tie our line and 
will be done other than attaching the, t uh, the clips on the T-post. Number one is done. We just need some clips for the T-post and we'll do the next strand. Do not get any bright ideas until I get my next strand ran. This is how we're attaching the wire to the T-post. What we do is we put one hook on and I, I twist it just to make sure it can't pop off on its own run it behind the T-post. Like that. And then with my pliers, I grab it and I pull it up over the barbed wire and then I just twist it. Now twisting it like that, what it does is two things. The more you twist it, the tighter it gets, so it holds that wire in place better. It also keeps the clip on instead of slipping off to where the only way it's gonna come off is to break. We gotta be quiet, the cows are sleeping. The next day. Well, it looks like one of the neighbor's ducks got eaten here. Um, some sort of crime scene, I guess. By the looks of it, it got plucked pretty good. It's the next day now. We ran out of light yesterday, but I did get this done. Um, you saw just about everything I was uh, putting on the fence clips when I ran out of daylight and the camera couldn't really pick anything up. Um, I only had a, about a dozen of the fence clips left. I knocked that out. You can see it's behind me. Um, I'm glad to get this done. Um, keep the cows on my property, keep their animals on their property. Um, next, soon coming up, we will be doing another similar job back here. This south end right here in this tree line is actually shared by two owners uh, that they meet and then they come and meet me in the middle. So. I have two owners, it's kind of split 50-50 on my property line who, uh, between the two south of me. Um, this guy here on the southwest corner, or the southwest half, he actually put up a brand new fence not long ago. It's the goat wire with a strand of barbed wire on top with metal post in the ground. 
the other neighbor on the southeast corner has a similar setup on half of his but the other half got damaged in a storm and he cut out he sunk some posts in the ground and cut out the damaged part and put barbed wire up and he hasn't maintained that barbed wire it's got brush and saplings and it's not a good situation either and once those saplings and all that brush starts dying off for winter it's not going to create a natural barrier anymore so i think what i'm going to do is in about 60 days most of that brush should be gone we're going to come in here cut the remainder of it out and put up a new continue what this other neighbor did put up a new goat wire fence with a barbed wire on top and metal post and that'll take care of everything and then we can get back up front on the north end along the road um, where y'all saw us mowing a few videos back um, that's where the big big projects are going to come in uh, i'm sure you've seen it in the background i have five acres that's cut off over there uh, because of the perimeter fence it's the only remaining part of that old metal welded pipe fence um we're going to be cutting all that out and building brand new fence moving the property line just a hair not the property line but the perimeter fence line a few feet and then um going from there so got a lot coming up there but anyway that's going to do it for this video thank y'all for hanging out with me and i'll see y'all next